Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a brand new portable power station. This is the Pecron E300 LFP. This is a 600 watt portable power station with 288 watt hour battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So you should get your 3,500 cycles from this real long life on this battery. Um, this thing can be charged four ways. You can charge it through your AC plug, you could charge it through DC, 12 to 28 volts, solar, the same 12 to 28 volts, or you can actually charge it using the USB cable, 100 watt, and charge it this way also. Let's go through this unit. It only weighs 10 pounds, so easy to carry around 600 watts, less than 10 pounds. That's pretty good. So let's take a closer look at this and see exactly what it comes with. I'll show you the display, all the plugs, and everything it comes with. You can see on this side right here, you have your inlet. On the back side, Pecron gives you this nice little pouch with this handle, this recessed handle. So you can hold it and carry it. It doesn't protrude. It just perfectly fits in there. You have this nice little pouch on the back that has your AC charging cable and your car charger. Or cigarette lighter charging cable it does not come with the solar uh, mc4 cables so because of its size you can actually charge it using the uh, car charger or the ac but this nice little pouch makes it perfect so you always have your stuff with you it just clips on the back you can take it out if you want to it's on right there on this side right here you have this light you have this light on the side hold it down and turn it off under this protective cover your dc charging see it goes 12 to 28 volts dc 100 watts max and no brick actually has its recessed ac charging bricks in, on the inside so you don't have to worry about anything you just need your cable to charge this thing and it has ups so that's real nice Plug it right here so you can charge from AC. Charging on AC, you'll get up to 300 watts max charging. Once you plug this AC, you will have UPS mode. And the UPS mode feature, you can go up to 600 watts supported. So it's plugged in. You can actually go up to 600 watts. The full 600 watts rated, it will be ran off the AC cable. But if you're in eco mode and charging this thing, the charging power will be reduced by 50%. And also eco mode, what happens is if you don't use any AC for one minute, it will actually turn off the unit. The E300 does have lithium ion phosphate battery, and this will allow you to get up to 3,500 cycles, and it will be reduced to only 80% after that whole time, okay? So long life automotive grade batteries in this. Take a close look at the front. First thing up here, you have your DC power. Hold it down. This will turn on the unit. Once your unit's on over here, you have your cigarette lighter style DC output. This is 12 volt, 10 amps out of this one. Right below that, you have your 5525. This is a 24 volt, 5 amps. Over here, you have another 5525 plug, and this is 12 volt, 5 amps. Your USB C 100 watt output input. So, this is a charging. You can actually charge it using this USB-C. You have your 18 watt USB-A and another 18 watt USB-A over here. Hold this down. This turns on your um, that turns on your AC. You have two grounded 120 volt plugs. On the top, you do have your wireless charging, so this works perfect for your phone. If you have your cell phone, you just put it up here. That enables your wireless charging. I like that. And with the recess handle, it doesn't get in the way. So just right on the top, you can charge your cell phones or any wireless device. So one of my favorite thing about this is it is app control, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So first thing you do, this is the app. I went ahead and got it right here. You turn on the unit. Once the unit is on, 
you come right here and you hold the AC and the DC button for three seconds. You'll see the battery flash. See the battery starts flashing. That's going to turn on your Wi Fi. There you go. So the Wi Fi starts flashing. Now you come. Okay, so once you bind the unit, you hit done, save, and you can go right here and connect to your device. Once you're in the app, you can see that you get your input, output, you can turn your AC on and off, you can turn your DC on for the output, your light. Turn your light on. See on the side. You can control the brightness of the light on the app. So it's at 50%. You can go to 100%. Or you can do the SOS. Turn that off. Come down here. You can see your battery pack detail. It's a 19.8 volt. It gives you the temperature right here. Any alarms? I have no alarms. Device usage manual. The input output. You could actually come right here and tell it how much you want to charge on AC 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. Come over here. That's your how long you want it to shut off. Your time off time one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Or you could say never. Mine set to one hour. Let's go back. System settings. Eco mode. That's where you turn your eco mode on or off. Automatic reduce brightness on this. So you could just leave it on. Actually, you want mine like this. This right here, it will beam down. Or you can come over here and you can control your screen brightness 5%, 20%, 50%, 80%, or 100 Go back to input. It will tell you how much solar you're getting in or DC, how much AC you're getting in, battery percentage. So it's a pretty cool. It'll give you your total time of discharge right here. And there you have it. So you can have multiple units on this app. So it is app control by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. All right, so we're going to try some charging with this thing. First thing we're going to do is plug in the AC. So let's plug in AC and see what we get. I'm right at 77%. So we'll plug it in. It's going to test the power. UPS mode is enabled. So now we're able to use anything on the plugs and it will actually run off our AC. We can do that up to 600 watts. And here's your charging, AC charging, ramping up. Going right about 325. 315, 328. There you go. So charging off AC, no problem. Now, let's try to do a simulate solar. So I'm going to plug in our DC plug. We can do 12 to 28 volts. Let me plug that in. So let's see if it'll do dual charging. Turn on our DC load. So with AC, and DC at the same time, you could see it jumped up. So what it did was just cut the uh, AC down a little bit. So now we're going right around 330. 
So what I'm going to do is disconnect AC. And we get 100 watts off DC. And that's the maximum you will get off solar is 100 watts. So there you have it. 100 watts on solar. You can go 300 watts on AC. And it will manage those two at the same time. So the next thing we're going to try is our USB charging. So I'll leave this DC in. And I'll come over here and let's see if you can do them together. I'll plug in this one. See what happens. There you go. Yeah, so you can charge off DC and USB at the same time. Let's see what happens if I plug all three at the same time. Let's see if we can charge. USB mode came on. UPS mode is on, enabled. No, it's still charged. There you go. Now it takes it takes a little while when you plug in the solar the AC. And that's your max charging rate, I guess. Okay. What we'll do, let's disconnect the AC, the DC. Let's keep the AC in, recharging. I want to try my UPS mode. So I'll connect the load on the AC. All right. So now we have a load connected. UPS mode is enabled. You can see it, the icon right there. And let's start pulling a load. Let's see how much we can pull. You'll see your ratings right here. We can go up to 600 watts on in UPS mode. I love this bright display. It's absolutely big, bright display. We can go all the way up to 600 watts. Trying to fine tune it. There you have it, guys. In 600 watts and charging at the same time. There it is. So, UPS mode, you can pull up to 600 watts while it's connected to AC. You can hear the fan coming on. So let's turn on that load. Let's disconnect the AC. Now I want to see if this thing can support its 600 watt rating. Okay, let's go back up to 600 with no AC, no DC connected. Just want to do an output test. There you go, no problem. You can support your 600 watt with no AC, no DC coming in. Actually, 623, 656, and there it is. 664, shut off. We come over here and hold that down. Reset. All right, so it does support UPS mode. It goes up to 600 watts output. It carried UPS for 600 watts. DC input, 100. AC charging, 300. USB charging, 100. So everything is good. All right, so now we're going to try testing the DC side of this portable power station. Let's plug in 
for 12 volt and it says 10 amps all right so we're going to try to pull 10 amps from this 12 volt so right away i can tell you it is a regulated port regulated output 13.4 so that's good let's try pulling 10 amps Six amps, seven, eight, nine, ten amps right there. Get a little more. Ten amps, that's a hundred, and there you go. 185 watts overloaded. So it will support its full output. So we do have a wireless charging on top. Nice big display, battery percentage right in the middle. You have your output, input on this side for your solar, everything you need. I actually love that this thing actually weighs 10 pounds, so it's easy to carry. If you're doing any kind of camping, boating, like I said, you need something small, but this one packs that 600 watt output. This would actually be perfect for you. The light on the side, Hold it down. This is really good if you're doing any kind of camping at night. You have your solar input, AC input. Real nice unit. I don't have any complaints about this one. I like the size. I like all the, the plugs they give you. So you have the Pecron E300 LFP. Guys, check this out. I will have the link down in the description for you. If you're looking for a small portable power station with 600 watt output and 300 watt hour battery, check this one. Give this one a chance. Um, the nice rubber all around, all four sides to protect it against any kind of drop if you put it down or you put another one on top of it. I like the rubber pads. So check this one out. Guys, thanks for watching my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you do like this channel, subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. Helps us keep getting more like these so we can do better reviews. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.